Let me show you how to install it. As I'm unboxing this, full disclosure, I did get this sent to me for free from a company on Amazon called Boastinger. I don't know if that's how you actually say it. it. Looks like there's an extra end in there, but that's what I'm gonna go with. They've got quite a few options for this shower kit online. They've got black, gold, silver, wall mount, ceiling mount, jets, all kinds of stuff. So just go on there and check them out. Next up was some of the additional items I used for this install. So first up was half inch to half inch drop ear elbows. Um, one going to the pecs with a shark bite fitting and then a half inch threaded fitting for the wall stub out. I needed two of these because I got the wand and the shower head. Next up was the half inch to half inch male adapters, threaded end on one side, pecs fitting on the other. Need four of these, hot, cold in, and then out for the shower head and out for the shower wand. I also got some half inch pex crimp rings. I needed some extras of those, which I'll get to in a minute. Some pex hangers and some half inch pex elbows. As far as tools you'll need for the install, you'll need a drill, eight millimeter hex key, something to cut the pecs. I took this opportunity, just like all projects, to get a new tool, and that was my tool for this project, some Milwaukee uh, tube cutters. Uh, I also used a tape measure, pex ring crimper, and some pipe dope. Let's get started with the install. So I kind of did this backwards because I knew I had access to the wall on the other side. Most people would have the valve and everything set prior to. I didn't, so here I am cutting out my valve hole, marking my wand positioning, and then drilling it out, marking my shower head arm, and drilling it out. Next was onto the valve. This was the only place I ran into an issue, but this is how it was all set up. You have the male connection fittings going into the four ports on the valve, and then you have it fastened to a backing plate. Holding the valve in place, I marked and cut my supply lines for my hot and cold, going into the valve, breaking in my new tool. Test fitting all of my connections, making sure I wasn't too long, too short on any of them, and then working on the output lines for the shower head and the shower wand. The shower valve has up and down marked on it, so make sure the up is going to the shower head and the down is going to the shower wand, otherwise your buttons will be backwards. Went back to the front side, pulled the valve cover off. You do need a skinny screwdriver for this. Now on to my issues. Rewatching my videos, I think they were mostly self-inflicted. Pulled this valve out of the wall. It was leaking at the fittings. So I don't know if the fittings are a little out of tolerance or the valve itself. So I'm gonna add some Teflon tape and then pipe dope on top of it and see if that can fix our problem. Turns out it did fix our problem. No more issues. All right, shower valves installed. Got the stub outs in the wall. So we got the shark bite on the back side that hooks into the pecs. The small stub out goes up top for the shower arm. The fatter stub out goes for the shower wand. Also hooked into my shark bite. You just take them, tighten them with a hex key. Uh, make sure you're putting thread tape and or pipe dope on these also. All right, first up is install the shower arm, making sure it is coming out of the wall level. It is just a pressure fit. It's got three O-rings on it. You just slide it over. Obviously opening down. And then you take, it comes with this hex key. It kind of sucks to get to it, it's on the top. You can't spin it because you'll hit the wall. So go to Harbor Freight, get you this little Pittsburgh kit and you can get in there and spin it without having to take this out and readjust it every time. All right, shower arms hooked up, now onto the shower wand. So this is just a holder for it. Same thing, pressure fit, three O-rings, the fat connection fitting, skinny one goes up top. If it doesn't fit, you probably have them reversed. Um, just pressure fit, just slide it over. Again, comes with this to tighten the little hex keys on the bottom. Go to Harbor Freight, get you this $5 set. Comes in handy more than you know. Also not sponsored. All right, now that the arm's hooked up and the wand hanger is hooked up, we're gonna test out the valve and clear out any uh, contaminants that we have in the lines or in the arms or in the uh, valve or the wand holder. So we're just gonna turn it on, make sure both of these work, push out water and get any of the contaminants out. Turn it on. Nothing turns on until you click the wand or the shower head hold or buttons. Head's good. 
one's good. And we'll do the same time. Success. Last thing's on the agenda, putting on the shower valve cover, hooking up the wand, hooking up the shower head. Tip for the valve, um, I think you'd rather have it set back further than forward. I was running into issues with the buttons um, when it was too far forward. But if you keep it back enough, um, these are actual, actually adjust out so you can bring the buttons out further, but you can't take them in any further. So uh, nominal depth for to the finished surface, to the back of the valve was three inches for me. So once I got it to three inches, it worked fine. So just make sure your finished surface three inches to the back of the plastic on this valve. Slides over. Again, Harbor Freight Tool. Turn it on. Head. Beautiful. Last but not least, nothing says amateur like leaving your Teflon tape showing on your black fixtures like I just did. So I'm gonna fix that. But if you wanna check out any of these products, they're pretty affordable on Amazon. I'll link them down in the description, but I appreciate it. Subscribe.